Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Global Cooling Rundown for the last week of June 2017. And if you appreciate the stories I bring you that the mainstream media won't, consider supporting me on Patreon or click the subscribe button and pass this through your social media. As the jet stream bends, sending heat north, canceling flights. Just two weeks ago, rare winter-like storms, media all over the heat. Where were they talking about these rare winter storms in California? Let's just digress two weeks. June snows, funnel clouds near Lincoln, California, freak hail storms, freak lightning storms, out of place upper atmospheric disturbances, moisture bands, can all be explained by the shift in the intertropical convergence zone every single mini ice age, as well as an increase in galactic cosmic rays causing more clouds. But no, the media doesn't want to talk about that. They only want to talk about a couple canceled flights. For sure, skiing in the Sierra Nevada mountains and some parts of the Rockies will be open in and through August. Over 200 inches of base term the endless winter with record snowfall in 2016-17. Let's go back to 2014, the end of snow claimed by the New York Times and the IPCC. Snowpack will decrease by 25 to 100 percent because of greenhouse gas emissions. And California's still trying to dig out of the snowy roads. Some of the passes here are still so bogged down with the machinery. It's like 50 feet they're trying to clear through. It's still a long way to go. And of all the headlines of heat, just a mere two weeks ago, still snowing across the passes. Sierra snow in June, the just winter that won't let go in parts of California, easily explained by the shifting intertropical convergence zone as the onset of the mini ice age intensifies. Summer snow in Russia, Tartistan and Murmansk. June 21st, the solstice. Half an inch of snow falling along with sleet covering the ground. Hazardous road travel several inches in Tartistan. And that storm lasted for three full days. And as was predicted for a sign of the intensification of the mini ice age, summer snow. Here's another instance. See those white circles? Record cold temperatures broken. Arctic air pulling down into the United States in the middle of summer. Where is the media covering this? Look how much cold air. That is at least a quarter of the United States. And when we look at the cool outbreak shown by AccuWeather, highs are 15 degrees below normal temperatures, yet in the video, look how they put it. Nice weather. Media deflection at its best. Global temperatures down should be warming up during summer, not this year. Many ice ages intensifying. New report from News Weekly. Global temperatures have dropped back to levels of 20 years ago. Here's the chart that the story is referenced from Dr. Roy Spencer and Ryan Maui. Chasing down an article off Robert Felix's site, iceagenow.info. Interesting correlation here. They just use Google to find record high and record low temperatures. So I took it a couple steps further, verifying that indeed 183 million low temperature records compared to 7.9 million record high temperatures. Then I just started going through the continent. Europe, 23,800,000 record low temperatures compared to 7.8 million high temperature records. So let's take a look through Oceania, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, the Middle East, and the tropics is going to shock you. 